Good morning guys. Good morning. Happy Friday day after Thanksgiving. It is now 6.51. I am late. I should have been at this mall but I was tired. So I'm running into the mall to get some uh, Christmas gifts. Um, actually a coat that I had put on hold for. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A coat that I had put on hold for um, my niece Aspen oh sorry about the light guys um, so I want to do that and see what other goodies that the early bird can catch even though I'm not that early um, so let's go inside and see what they have wait are they open yet oh they are all right let's go inside guys and see what they have I just took a quick shower y'all I had to wake myself up so here we go Hey guys so I am out of the mall it is now 1154 and I've been in there since 651 this morning oh my gosh I am so tired it is now 1154 I'm tired um I'm just sitting in the car debating on if I want to go back inside I went and got me some pretzels from the little Annie stand in there 
and I came back to the car because I had so many bags guys I couldn't even vlog anymore I had both hands my, my inside my elbows <laughs> was tired I said let me come back to the car and drop some of these bags off um I picked up I think I got most of my gifts out of the way guys I think I have I have a few more gifts to get but not major gifts so that's that's good um I'm trying to think if I go back in the mall you know what guys I think I have enough time I'm gonna just order the last few things online and be done with it because I'm tired <laughs> I need to go back home. I'm starting to get hungry now as to the reason why I bought those pretzels, which I should not be eating. Um, but I'll work it off. And I have a 1.30 pedicure appointment. I think I'm going to, you know what, guys? Let me, let, you know what? Let me start heading home, guys. And I feel so bad because so many people came up to me and wanted my parking spot. And I was like, not leaving, not leaving. And now I'm leaving. I feel bad. But I did get out of the car and head and headed uh, back to the mall. Excuse me, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why my car is so loud when it turns on. But um, I did leave the car and headed back to the mall, only to turn around and come back and say, "You know what? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm done." I have more than enough time to order um, the rest of the gifts, guys. So I'm gonna head home now. I'm going to relax until this is prime parking spot oh somebody got it um and it's actually nice outside guys it's like 50 50 degrees so all i had on was my vest i didn't bring no bag i just put my phone i brought out my um So I just put my phone in my pocket, my AirPods, and my little six ring key holder, and I just put all my little um, cards back here. And that's how I rolled today. Oh, and my phone, I just, not my phone, my camera, I just brought my camera with me and I just put it in my pocket as well. And that was it. So yeah, when I know I'm getting ready to shop and do like heavy shopping, I can't, no, I don't want a pocketbook. I don't even want my crossbodies on me. So that is that. Let me move out of the way. And guys, if you can see this parking lot, there is like zero parking spots. I am so glad I came out when I came out. It is super duper packed. All of the little teeny boppers are inside shopping for their gifts, which I actually admire. You know, I like how, well, I hope they're shopping for gifts, right? With their allowance money. I hope they're not being selfish in their shopping for them. Um, this, this parking lot, guys, is like packed. Packed. Sardine packed. Um, it's raining out, but it's not cold. So that's a good thing. It's raining but it's not cold I cannot wait to get my feet done I think I'm gonna get treat myself to some hot stones today oh thank you um, treat myself to some hot stones today guys are y'all gonna be nice thank you thank you so much um yeah I'm gonna treat myself to some hot stones on my feet and up my legs and just a nice probably little 10 minute foot massage for all of my Thanksgiving uh, cooks out there treat yourself to a pedicure or have your husband your boyfriend whomever rub your feet down with some hot oils <laughs> but oh my goodness speaking of which my husband was on his feet for a long time so I may actually um, I like to pay my pay for my husband to get his feet done but for some strange reason he likes for me to do his feet and I'm like dude the way these hands are set up, they are not for feet. Can I please just pay the people to do your feet? They'll do a better job than me. Trust me. He's like, no, you can do it. But um, I'm going to actually see if he'll come with me today and get a pedicure. If not, I guess I'll just have to do his feet. <laughs> I guess I'm going to just have to. I'm going to just have to sit down 
and do his feet. He deserves it though, guys. He went in with the cooking. He put his whole body. You know how they say you put your foot in this? He put his whole body. My husband, let me tell y'all something. I don't think, I, I've probably mentioned this before, but he is the cook of the house, right? My husband is Jamaican, so he makes all of the Jamaican dishes. I make the American dishes. He made rice and peas, his signature rice and peas, oxtails. We had curry goat from my friends given, so we just warmed that up. He made jerk chicken. Um, what else did he make? I can't even remember. But the prep work that goes into his his style of cooking unbelievable now i cut up my peppers onions and all of that stuff because to me that's really the main seasonings but he will cut up fresh coconut he cuts up the fresh coconut and then he sits it for a while and uh does something with it then he squeezes it out i'm like oh my god but guys he really enjoys this like he loves cooking that's one of his love languages right um but that prep work is serious and i'm like yeah no i'll do i'll do my fresh garlic my peppers my onions and then um you know my regular seasonings or whatever but no he goes in he goes in um and his food is always made with love so it tastes amazing always so yeah, so he, he deserves um, he deserves to get his feet done today as well. Even probably like a little ham massage. But again, I am going to try to talk him into um, coming coming along with me. So, oh, yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired, 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 y'all. Not T-I-R-E-D, but T-Y. Tired. Tired. I'm tired. Um, so yeah, um, what else is going on guys? Did everyone enjoy their Thanksgiving? Did you guys, uh, cook? Um, did you go over to friend's house? Did you go to family's house? Um, all that good stuff. Did y'all play some games? If y'all play games, what's some good games out there that, that, um, y'all can recommend? Um, most of my in-laws came over so my family went to Miami to my sister's house so all of my in-laws were over and I added some footage guys so they're heavy into dominoes I can't add that fast <laughs> don't laugh but <laughs> I can't add that fast I just know you got to match the six with the six and then the four and at the same time you got to look across the board and count to see how many sixes were played I think you get four sixes in a set something like that but you got to add it up and i'm like that's too much i can't do all that adding and trying to play the game and focus at the same time so that doesn't work for me um so when i do play with them I, they beat me all the time my husband doesn't want me to be his partner because yeah he wants to win but in any event they played dominoes and today little hearts was content at 11.30, I snuck upstairs to my bedroom and went to sleep. And I don't know what time everybody went to bed. And then I got up early in the morning. Um, and we went to the Thanksgiving Day Parade down in the city. Y'all, traffic, when I tell you, was absolutely beautiful. It took me one hour and 11 minutes to get from my house to 59th Street Columbus Circle. When I tell you... That traffic was everything, no traffic, absolutely amazing. Oh my God, absolutely amazing. And I left my house late. I left my house at about 7.50. I was supposed to leave my house like 7.30. I left my house at 7.50 and got, I pulled up in the parking uh, garage underneath my job's building at exactly 9.01. 9.01, yeah, 9.01, something like that. But absolutely amazing guys the parade was so nice my first time ever attending a thanksgiving day parade we watched it again from my job i didn't go down to macy's because i just knew it was going to be super duper packed and overwhelming and we probably would have been cold well i definitely know we would have been cold because my daughter left from outside she went inside and my son 
you guys seen it. He wasn't here for the cold either. He went inside. So it was just me and um, my girlfriend Kaz who went, who stood outside the longest. So yeah, they wouldn't have made it if we went to 34th Street. And then, you know, looking for porta potties and looking for places to use the bathroom. It just would have been a whole mess. So my job provided hot drinks for us. So there was coffee, hot chocolate, tea. You know, you just had to bring your own um, snacks or food or whatever else you wanted. But it worked out. We had a great time. We took some great photos. And yeah. So that was basically it. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm going to actually, we're going to actually go to the movies tonight. I want to see Pilot. I was watching the coming attraction, uh, coming attractions when we went to what, when we went to see um, Wakanda. So I definitely want to check that out and we will definitely be going to the movies later. So let me um, head home guys. Well, I'm heading home, but I will come on and chat with you guys a little later. But right now I need to kind of just <laughs> settle down and relax. So I will talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, I forgot I had to make a quick stop in Target. And I want to do this before I get to the nail salon so that when I leave the nail salon, I can go straight home. Oh, oh good, the line is not too long. And the nail salon place is only like 15 minutes from here, so that will be good. Yeah. Yeah, the, line, the line is not too long at all, guys. So let me rush and hurry up and do this, guys, so, I can, so I'm not late for my nail appointment. Okay guys, so I'm back from Target and just wanted to share with you what I picked up. Um, so I picked up another pair of these white slippers which I absolutely love. Um, this is probably my third pair actually. They are so, so comfortable and warm. And then I picked up these um, slippers as well. I thought this colorway was so, so pretty. I actually tried them on in the store, guys, and they felt so good. Love, love, love these. Um, and they were $10, guys. I actually picked up two pairs for my girlfriend as well. Okay, guys, so I picked up some candles from um, Target as well. I picked up this um, candle by Project 62. And it is the um, vetiver and cedarwood scent. It has bergamot, vetiver, um, moist, I believe, and cedarwood. Oh my gosh, guys. If it smells anything like the body wash that I shared with you guys in my last skincare video, 
and which had vetiver and cedar wood in it as well, then this is going to be amazing. I'm going to actually try to burn this in my bathroom and just see how I like it. The next two candles I picked up are by Casa Luna, um, the clarity one, and this has grapefruit and ginger. Guys, this smells absolutely, absolutely amazing. I have the larger one here, which I'm burning now. I had the original clarity in the larger jars, the ones that um, Target had come out with before, and I had a little bit left, guys. So what I did was I scraped it out of the bottom of the glass jar, and I put it in this Ziploc bag here. I took a little bit out, guys, and put it here in one of my, um, what is this, like a diffuser, and lit it with a little uh, tea, tea light um, candle. And guys, it smells absolutely amazing. So I keep this one in my guest bathroom downstairs. So with this in my guest bathroom downstairs and then the larger candle in my kitchen, it just um, it just smells so good and you can smell it throughout the house. It smells absolutely <clears throat> amazing. So you guys can do that as well with some extra um, candle, I guess, um what is it candle wax that you have left over so i just put it yeah in here so that's what i picked up um candle wise then i picked up um some bonds of spaghetti and then i just picked up some more stuff um my kids wanted me to make some more mac and cheese the mac and cheese that i made for thanksgiving guys it was devoured and my daughter didn't get any she wasn't happy about that my son wanted some more, so these are the cheeses that I use. Um, I'm not going to use this whole <laughs> container. I'll use um, probably half of this or a little less than half of this. But I like um, really cheesy mac and cheese. Um, they didn't have my regular pasta, so I'm going to try, I mean, my macaroni. So I'm going to use this um, elbow macaroni. And this will be for them, guys. If I do have some, I'll have... Um, a real little bit even on thanksgiving night i didn't really eat that much um macaroni to be totally honest with you guys so i'm gonna make that probably tomorrow for them i picked up some uh peach tranquility tea by tiavana and i like this one because it is caffeine free and um i like to give myself um a cleanse so i picked up some prune juice so I will be drinking this starting, if not tomorrow night, then Sunday night. And that is everything that I picked up from Target. So isn't this guy's beautiful? I picked this up from Home Goods. Oh my God, I absolutely love this. Love, love, love it. But yeah, anyway, so that is everything, guys, and that I wanted to share with you. So I'm going to put this stuff up. Turn this on, light this in my bathroom. I want to see how it smells. And again, I will make this. What time is it? It's 6:22. I don't feel like cooking this tonight, so I will definitely um cook this tomorrow for um my kids. And that's everything. So I will talk to you later. Bye.